It's late August, high in the Great Smoky Mountains of western North Carolina, a ruby-throated hummingbird paradise. Watching these amazing birds, among the smallest in the world, is a favorite pastime. They stake out and defend prime nectar feeder territory, and the females build their nests and raise their broods high in the trees. Occasionally all does not go according to plan. A fledgling hummingbird has crashed onto our porch on its first flight. The little bird appears to be a little weak, but otherwise in pretty good shape. The general rule is to not assume a young hummingbird is an orphan, but to leave it alone and let its mother take care of it. That's its best chance for survival in the wild. We held this little one near a tree and it was able to fly to a nearby low-hanging branch. An hour has passed and no sign of the mother. If you look close you can see that small ants or mites have begun to crawl on the little bird's eyes and beak. A nearby storm has kicked up the wind and knocked the little hummingbird off its perch. It's struggling to get back up, but it makes it. It's now been over two hours and no sign of the mother. The little bird is getting very weak and has closed its eyes and gone silent. Hummingbirds, especially babies and fledglings, must eat several times an hour to keep their strength up. It is clear that if the mother does not return soon, this fledgling is not going to make it. Three hours without food would be too long. It seems to be resigned to its fate, making no further attempt to call or open its eyes. This is unbearable to watch. We have to do something. We decide to mix up some fresh nectar and aid the young hummingbird. It readily grabbed onto my thumb from the low-hanging branch and took shelter again in our hands. What an amazing and precious little creature. The little one was ravenous and readily took drop after drop of nectar from the ends of our fingers. In a pinch, this simple method works well. Pure nectar is not healthy as a steady diet, but we hope this would be a quick fix. Hummingbirds have a unique tongue that you can see in action. It is forked and lined with hair-like extensions to readily soak up nectar. This fledgling is part of the second brood of the summer. It's late in the summer and it will have to be ready to fly south across the Gulf of Mexico in just five or six weeks. It needs to grow big and strong quick.
The little Hummer has made an extraordinary recovery. It's lively, perky, and active now. It's time to see if it's ready to go back to the wild. It's flown to a nearby branch and it's a different bird than just an hour ago. It appears strong and healthy, even preening itself. It looks very alert after its nectar fix.